haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Uh... Are you alright? I'm guessing that was... As a spirit, he's empathizing with whoever that was. Are you alright? You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close. With so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes. But here is where I can help. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. Uh, you, you're a friendly spirit? Because you're a demon! What are you? Yeah. Solas tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening. <laughs> Any chance you could explain it? <laughs> yeah. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. <sighs> he wants to help, even though it's causing him some amounts of pain. So that's a point in his uh, in his favour. I also like having every companion, so <laughs> that's the gamer in me. But I mean. Oh, he could turn evil and be a demon and uh, how many mages have we got? They could be evil and turn into abominations, etc., uh, etc. Et yeah, say help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. <laughs> yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. Uh, Paragon interrupt. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. I would always lean to give him a chance. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. But his body is failing. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. And neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. Cole approves. Soda approves. That's a surprise. Right. Searching for Varric. Right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Right. Varric. Let's continue the search for Varric. Yes, I know you're there, Cole. I'm getting distracted from finding. I just, 
I was thinking, you know, we'll we'll get to this bit and then, well, not get to this bit, but we'll finish up that bit and then we got here. So, oh, the singing bit. Hopefully, I can edit it really well and have that end in episode because I think that's really cool. And then we got here. It's like, oh, this seems like a. I'll just do a little wrap upy thing, and now it's like, oh, I want to find Varric. Haven destroyed by darkest menace. News from Thedas. Dire news from the Frostbacks. The Pilgrim Sanctuary of Haven, home to the New Inquisition, has been destroyed. Information is still vague, but some believe a dragon resembling an archdemon was involved in the attack. Fears of a new blight are now beginning to surface. As the Chantry continues to flounder, some are concerned that Haven's destruction may predict the Inquisition's imminent collapse. However, there is yet hope, as reports indicate that the Herald of Andraste and Inquisition leadership survived and have found refuge elsewhere. Cryer Bellinus. Varric doesn't seem to actually exist, does he? There's Cassandra, Ironball, Blackwall, Vivienne, Sarah, Cullen, Cole. Josephine. Oh, maybe I can't talk to him until he's introduced me to... Ah, introduced me to Hawk. I'm suspecting it's Hawk. I'm fairly sure. I'm going the wrong way, clearly. I can't even go out that way. Okay. How many doors do I need? Josephine. I know you've got a little thing on you for a quest from the ashes. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a question mark up this way. Oh, this is the war council. Oh, I don't want to go there yet. yet. Uh, I'm really confused. What am I doing again? I should probably give up at this point. <laughs> we have a few things we can send people on, though, I think. And this will advance a little bit of this bit. Ooh! This is very different. It's Ole. So, present for Bianca. I should have had more faith in my agents. Of course they tracked down Provident, who has sought shelter from the Mage Templar conflict with a wealthy, wealthy Navaran patron. We provided a brief description of Bianca, and Provident adapted the design for a leaf spring stabilizer to suit one of her stocks. We were also able to secure his original designs for our own use in siege engines. Hooray! Search for the lost in Sahol. Stop venatory activity in the west. Um, I don't know what that main thing is. Investigate these auto Yeah, we don't have a lot of power, so we're not doing these. We could send someone off to Sahol. Yes, I think that's how it's pronounced. Search for the hack writer. <laughs> 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 Depending on how mean I'm feeling. <laughs> could be <laughs> that could be like the episode titles and everything for the like next um however for the next for this little bit looking for Varric. <laughs> uh well that settles it. We face a darkspawn magister who commands something that looks suspiciously like an archdemon. I defy anyone who tells me that there is no blight. We have Blackwall's treaties and we of course they just require little persuasion. Uh, information. Any word? Nothing yet. Information and conscripts are well enough, Inquisitor, but Guild secures these things and more. What we need is information. Grey Warden's influence may loosen even the tightest lips. I think we'll send Liliana, actually. Inquisitor. Um. Oh, and I can't do that one now because we're too busy. Um, search for the hack writer. Ruffles! First off. You play a mean hand of wicked grace. Second, the lead you dug up for me on finding this Balin fourth guy in Kirkwall is starting to show some promise. I got my editor to look around for me. She's a coterie boss, so people tell her things whether they want to or not. She tracked down the poor sod carrying the manuscripts out of Kirkwall. This is where it gets weird. The courier is a magistrate, Lord Werner Camerink. The coterie won't touch him with a ten-foot pole. Maybe you could have a polite word with him for me. I've owned a few favour in the Viscount's office. I could call one in. Go on, Josephine. Let us begin. If I help Varric, maybe I can find. Maybe that'll encourage him to turn up.
Hmm, Cassandra wasn't there. Ah, because Cassandra was acting as the official leader. Let's get. Stop giving me more options! <laughs> we have to deal with these things. I want to find Mr. Barrack. I think I need to actually go up here. I think. Is that what from the ashes is? Oh my goodness. A lot more areas, things. Inquisition trappings, go to the undercraft. Recruit an arcanist. Oh, is that up here, the from the ashes? Speak with Varric on the battlements. To the battlements! We have a lot of running around to do in Skyhold. We can do a lot of talking to people as well. Assumably, we're going to have a bit, be able to have a bit more of a chat with Cassandra. But I'm just doing this, I'm just doing this thing for talking to Varric. And then... What do you mean I can't go up this way? No! No! I need to get, I need to get up to Varric. We just need to fix this whole place. Like, <laughs> rebuild everything. Right, how do I get up now? There must be some stairs somewhere. This is just a wall. <sighs> There's probably like a set of staircases inside one of these buildings, I'd guess. I would hope. Aha! Stairs. I know this, this, this. I could be talking to loads of people on the way and being far more productive. I've got a goal, and I think it's a good thing to wrap up with. Majestic. How was a place like this ever lost? Bad PR for tourism? Whoa! I assume there are us down there in the camp. They might not be, though. That's possible. It's not what a tower should look like. Oh my goodness. Connor's gone to war. Kind of. Roughly. Oh, you don't carry over. You're not going to carry over appearance, are you? If this is Hawk. Use the iconic default. Recreate the custom appearance of your champion. Oh, it is appearance. Oh, custom. Oh, that means I'm going to have to do it. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, customize. Oh, my goodness. How. how skin tone. And he had green eyes. There. Eye color. He had green eyes. There we go. He didn't have a beard. I don't know what his hair was like, but... Hair... That's probably... That's... That, that's not quite... Oh, the face shape is wrong, isn't it? No. No. That's 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 good enough, I think. It's the closest I'm going to get. In, obviously, because Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age was in very different places. I'm guessing that's... And that's good enough. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Here we are again. We're going to have another chat with Varric. And we're going to have another go with the custom uh, haw uh, Sparrowhawk. But, of course, if that doesn't work, we'll just go with uh, normal default boringness. Custom. Let's see if... This breaks the game again. Uh, doesn't really matter because it was. Mm, I think we'll go with that one actually. Skin tone was that I think. Complexion. I don't know why I was messing with that. I thought it was eye color for a moment. He had lovely green eyes. He had no beard. Oh, he looks a bit young there. Maybe that's because I've messed with the complexion. Hmm. Uh, 
Eventually I'll find what a face shape I like. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. And we'll stick with the same hair. And uh, we'll uh, break the game. Or not. Didn't crash this time. Hooray! Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. Oh, you were there as well. I did take you. Wonderful. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. I know how that feels. I've seen the cost of losing. You heard about Haven? I have. That's why we're here now. Why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control. That's what I thought. Could have. That's not good. Is it? Would it be reversible? Oh, <gasps> Kahiris! No! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Ooh, what if you could? What if all three protagonists from the Dragon Age games meet up? <gasps> That'd be amazing. Liliana would be happy. Is it reversible? If that's what happened to the wardens, do you think we can free them? And is possible. But we need to know more first. Kind of reversed it I with Anders. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. Okay. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Good. I was worried you were about to say Anders, and then I would have had to push you off the battlements. Uh, what were you investigating? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. Oh. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Yeah. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you described. And then some. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. Thank you. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. <laughs> 